All right, so DP, DP Photography here, bringing another video. And today, today we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We're just gonna be doing some upgrades and whatnot. And you know, today you can see right here, I have the Enduro for the Pint X and whatnot. You know, it's a beautiful tire, but I gotta admit, this is something that I'm not really looking forward to, man. I do not like doing tire changes. I've only done one, and that was on the GT. And it took a hell of a long time. Today, I'm not gonna try to take as long. You know, I've been watching videos from the float life and whatnot. I got my TS20, my TS30. You know, I got all the tools that I need. And you know, it's really more of a journey more than it is a how to do video, man. But you guys are gonna be with me every step of the way. So just stay tuned and wish me luck. That being said, let's just get right into it. First things first, I do not need to take off that back pad. See, I was about to take off the back pad. That's not what I need to do. First thing I need to do is get rid of this Fender Delete, or Fender, shall I say. But the one the Float Life used was actually a Fender Delete, so that's why I said that. That being said, let's, let's just get it. Probably not the smartest thing. Oh my goodness. Houston, we got problems already. Damn battery dead on the drill. So, got this damn tool that they sent me from the Float Life when they sent me the pads. And it doesn't look like it's fitting, man. Man, if it ain't one thing, it's, there it go. There it go. All right. Yeah, it's not gonna be easy, man. Tire change is definitely not a fun one. You know, the hex grip, not too hard. Um, what else did I change? Oh, that back cushion up pad, not too hard. But when it comes to changing the tire, man, when I get that tire actually out of there, man, that's when the problem's gonna come. It's definitely gonna be hard, something I'm not looking forward to. But I'm gonna try to do this as fast as I can. You know, usually I take a bunch of takes uh, to make a video. Today it was first take. What you get is what you get. Um, I don't got a lot of time. I got to do a photo shoot here in a couple of hours. So give myself a couple of hours to do this. I got to wiggle this thing off. There it is. Come on, come on. Boop. Got that off. Then the next thing you're going to want to do is take off this front foot pad. Front foot pad. Once again, you know, watching the Float Life video because, you know, <laughs> that's the videos that you actually watch when you need to do anything on your one wheel. That's what I said, you know, like the Float Life is pretty much your go to when it comes for stuff on your one wheel, you know, upgrades and, and how to do videos. It's always going to be the Float Life, man. I don't, you know, future motion, no knock the future motion but you don't see me watching a future motion video on how to change a tire take off the front pad, get the foot pad off, got that off, oh yo, everything's going kind of smooth, not too hard, okay what do I do next Jesse? Then we got access to the motor cable as well right here, so then we're going to just take that motor cable, okay, and get that unscrewed, got that out, like so, you're going to want to flip her over, and this next step is what you want that small Phillips head for. Got that one. Sweet! Ooh, that ain't good. That's <laughs> like. Make sure you don't lose the screws. T30s. Perfect. Ooh. 
Ooh, that sounds, that sounds look like it's ready to drop. It'll be loose. Okay, and there goes that screw again. I'm trying not to lose. Let's pull these out. Okay, let's pull this side out. Okay, that's right. Oh, sweet. Okay. I was able to keep the bumper on, didn't have to take it off. Foul stem. Nice. Puller. And the blue don't coming out. I got the valves now. Let's just keep it right here. All right. So as you can see, if you got the gun, all right, so he didn't even use a bead breaker. He just used pure brute force. I need something to actually push this down on that I'm not putting any pressure on that cable. I got it sitting on a two by four so that that bottom's not touching and it's not pressing against that. Now I'm gonna take this hammer and this to break that and broke that side. You know, you just gotta get a little, in, what do they call it, intuitive? Intuitive. That side's broken. It's pretty much, these broken, pretty much. So is my nail, but who gives a damn about breaking the nail? That's it. All right. Beads broken on both sides. Wire's all good. I don't think I'm just gonna work this gangster all oh, man. Oh, hi! <laughs> That's happiness right there. All right, I got that side off. <clears throat> Woo! Got it, baby. Huh. Woo! Get that thing man back out. Oh, yeah. Okay. Five stem back in there. Woo! Scared the shit out of me, boy. That ain't nothing that you're gonna get used to, man. That shit scared the shit out of me just now. Set both sides at 32 PSI, pretty high. Let's get some of that air out. Got them at about 15 PSI. I'm about ready to break everything, man. Well, that's gonna be it for right now. I'll come back a little later. But for now, yeah, this thing has whooped me. I'm back. Definitely been getting my ass whooped since I got the tire back on the, the bead. But you know, what I'm thinking is, I'm gonna go ahead and take this side of the rails off and once I'm able to do that, I should be able to put one side on and then I'll put the other side. Yeah, and I put that red Loctite on there. That's what I that did. But now I feel like I got that side off. Boom, boom. Real came right off. OMG. I think I finally got it. 
My ass is whooped though, I'm gonna tell you that much. This has not been easy, not one little bit. Oh my goodness, man. You talking about frustrating? That was frustrating as hell. But I got it to where I need it. Go ahead and get these reels back situated. And then once I get them where they're supposed to be at, I'll go ahead and Once I get them where I need to be, I'll go ahead and get that plug back in. Yes. What a mission, what a mission, what a mission. That right there was not easy at all, my people. Frustrating to say the least, but I got it back where it needs to be at. I got a little something. That needs to go right in that crack right there, yeah. I'm waiting for the day for somebody to steal one of my one wheels so I can fucking kick their door down. That's it. That's it. Now, for the test, for the final test, princess. You turn this light on and hopefully it turns the right color. There it is, enduro tire change, man. That thing was not easy at all, man, but I got it done. Wow. Man, it feels buttery smooth. Oh man, it feels like a different board now. Now I might want to go for a ride. <sighs> oh man. <sighs> Damn, that thing feel good. I ain't gonna lie. You know, that was a damn hard thing to do though, you know. Tire change and whatnot. Wasn't easy. You know, I ended up having to take off one side of the reels. Even then it was hard to complete, man, but I got it done. Mission complete, just tested it out a little bit. Feels fantastic. I'm actually thinking about taking this thing for a little bit of a spin. I know I'm still gonna feel that pushback, but I gotta say it feels so much buttery, smooth. I know that Enduro, man, it's like, that thing works miracles, man. And I also got that air tag in there. I'm happy for that, man. Just in case somebody tries to steal a board and whatnot, I'll always be able to find it. But there you have it. Mission complete, man. It wasn't easy, man. Thank you guys for watching as always, man. DP Photography, also known as The Real Berg. And if you haven't already, like, subscribe, ring that bell, do all the fun stuff for your boy. Guess what? We had 955 subscribers right now, 45 subscribers away from a thousand, you know, but you know, when I get the thousand, I get the thousand because I still need to get the watch hours, man. So, you know, watch my videos and whatnot, man. But that being said, thank you guys for watching as always, man. DP Photography, I'm out. Awesome, done.